Welcome to the Fit 15 Podcast Show, where you'll find health and fitness inspiration, motivation, and information shared in 15-minute episodes. Tune in while getting a move on to make leading and enjoying the benefits of a healthy lifestyle almost too easy. It's the Fit 15. And now your host, Katherine Basu. Welcome to the Fit 15 Podcast Show. I'm your host, Katherine Basu. And if you are tuning in the day this episode is scheduled to go live, Monday, May 21st, 2018, then there are about to be some very exciting things happening over at my fitness company, Fit Armadillo, who is the sponsor of the Fit 15 Podcast Show. So this show would not be happening without the generous support of Fit Armadillo. So I'm starting to digress. What is happening over at Fit Armadillo? Fit Armadillo is turning five years old officially this Thursday, May 24th, 2018. So first, if you know of any good kindergartens to send Fit Armadillo to this fall, please let me know. I'm definitely ready to claim back a little bit of my time. If I can send my company to school. But on a more serious note, I probably can't send Fit Armadillo to kindergarten, but I'm definitely going to try if you guys have suggestions. And I just wanted to thank those of you who have been part of Fit Armadillo from the beginning, whether you've been a fan, a client, a member of the Fit Club, just a friend who's been supportive in any of the many ways my friends have been supporting me throughout this journey. I'm truly grateful for you and your support and Fit Armadillo and the Fit 15 and all the other things that have happened in between would not be here without that. So I want to just start things off by thanking you. Really appreciate all your help and support. It takes a village to run a business and to start a business and to leap out there and put yourself out there. And I often consider myself somewhat of an introvert, which might be funny to people listening or who have followed me online. But I really had to take that step to just put myself out there to start my business. And so I wouldn't have been able to do that consistently without having the support of those of you who have been supportive and shared positive feedback with me as I've been on this journey. So getting a little bit sentimental here. I hope that's all right. But as I mentioned, I can't really think of any other way to head into this week and move forward into the next years ahead without saying thank you. So truly from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being here. Whether it's just for today's episode is the first time you've found the Fit 15 and heard of Fit Armadillo or if you've been here from the beginning of the journey. All right, so wanted to just address a few quick things before heading into the rest of the episode. First, if you're new here, normally I have a really awesome guest who joins me on the podcast. So I apologize for that. I hope it's okay that you're hanging out with just little old me the founder of Fit Armadillo and host of the podcast. The other thing I want to share is just kind of a little bit of an outline of what I'm going to share today. So I've already done my little thank you. And I also wanted to let you know of a few exciting things that are happening at Fit Armadillo this week, especially, and then beyond in celebration of the five-year anniversary. And then close things out by just a little story time trying to recap some of the things that have happened here in the last five years. So first, the celebration, right? Everyone wants to know about about the party. So what are we doing at Fit Armadillo to celebrate five years being in business as Fit Armadillo? The first thing that's happening is we're having these small workout parties. So instead of having our birthday parties or anniversary parties be ones where we're enjoying cake, although We still love cake. We're not going to necessarily not have any cake with our celebration. We are going to be having some small online group workouts. So we'll do this in a fashion that is very similar to what we do with our clients one-on-one, but it's a party. So instead of just being a private session, we're going to open it up to more people. So if you're not familiar with Fit Armadillo, basically what we primarily do is help you enjoy fitness at your place and your pace through private fitness sessions. So personal training, Pilates, and yoga that are enjoyed over live two-way video chat. So the easiest way I found to have people 
envision this is to think about meeting your personal trainer, Pilates instructor, or yoga instructor on Skype or FaceTime instead of meeting your friend or your family or your business partner on one of those formats. We don't actually use Skype or FaceTime, but that's kind of the visual that you'd want to get. So you're able to see your trainer and your trainer can see you and give you feedback in real time. You're also held accountable for your workouts and being in a given space, even though you can change the space as long as you still have Wi-Fi access. And we help people who are just either too busy to go to the gym or not comfortable there. We love working with people who travel for work and new moms and business owners to help them become more energized and focused in the mix of all that happens as a business owner since I definitely can relate to that exact scenario. But that's what we normally do. So normally we do our sessions privately, but we can't have a party with just two people really, right? I mean, it wouldn't be as much fun. So what we've decided to do is for a limited time, and we'll start these little birthday parties, little workout parties this coming week for the official five-year celebration, but we actually have one class that is scheduled a day before the official five years. So I wanted you to be aware of that. So we'll start this out then, and we're just going to go for probably a month. That's what I would ideally like to do, but we'll base it off of the interest and how much of a party workout animal you and or your friends and the other friends of Fit Armadillo are. So if you are interested at all, if you go to our page where I have all the little mini parties noted so far and you don't see a day or time or a format that you would like to try out, you can fill out the little form there and request a time and we'll try to do our best to get another time out there knowing that we have someone interested. So I hope you're as excited as I am about these mini workout parties to celebrate our five years. You can join in on the fun by going to fitarmadillo.com slash five years. And that part is the number five and then Y-R-S. Believe it or not, we are already at the seven and a half minute point. So if you are joining me and just have 15 minutes and wanted to get in an out and back walk, that is your reminder to turn around now. All right. So I share with you how we're celebrating the five-year anniversary, having these mini small group online fitness classes so you'll be able to join from anywhere in the world. And even though we are opening this up to groups, we're going to keep the group small. So we'll cap the number of participants at 11 participants per session. So you definitely want to go and check that out and sign up as soon as possible. I have an added incentive to go over there and sign up because if you are one of the first five to sign up for a given class time, it will only be $5 to enjoy that session. So if you're enjoying a workout out in the real world where you'd have to fight traffic and pay for gas possibly and maybe get stressed out going to and from your workout space, you won't have to do that with this workout. And you'll also be able to have a pretty small class size compared to what is out there in most gyms. So I would love to have you join us. I'm actually going to be not teaching on Friday, but a member of the class on Friday of this week when Kayla, our yoga instructor, is going to be doing my regular 30-minute yoga session that I enjoy, but opening it up to any of you who want to join us. So if you are a runner, this would be a great yoga session for you. If you are someone who's new to yoga, it's probably going to be a great yoga session for you because as a runner, I make a point to enjoy yoga because I am not very flexible and it really helps my running and just really excited to be able to share what I love about Kayla's sessions with those of you who want to join us on Friday. So that'll be really exciting. So I'm going to be joining in on the fun too, sometimes teaching I'm going to wait to add in sessions, but then sometimes just being a participant just like you. All right, so that's all the ins and outs of our birthday party, five-year anniversary celebration over here at Fit Armadillo. Wanted to cap off the episode by just sharing some highlights and how the company has progressed over the past five years. For those of you who are listeners who have a business as well, one thing I would just share is that I think 
what I love most about having a business and being someone who enjoys fitness is that both are journeys and there's lots of parallels in between them. So I think that if you are struggling with one or the other, you can look to the journey that you've experienced in the one that is going well for you right now, because I'm sure if you have a fitness journey and or a business journey, you know that they don't always both go well at the same time, right? So, and maybe get some inspiration to get back on track with the other one through lessons that you've learned in the journey that's going well right now. So just to take a little walk down memory lane here, some of the the highlights and the journey of Fit Armadillo. So Fit Armadillo started out in 2013. I say that the start date is officially May 24th, 2013, because that's when I got my paperwork back from the state of Texas that I was now doing business under that name, Fit Armadillo. So I had my LLC created. And at that time, it was just me. I was just going around to client homes and working out with my clients one-on-one and sometimes going to the park with them and sometimes enjoying listening to mariachi music with some of my clients at different parks that we would attend and and use for our workouts. And that was just kind of getting started. I will share though, because sometimes people say I've come a long way in the five years. I did not start working in the fitness industry five years ago. I've worked in the fitness industry for, uh, this will be 11 years this May. So I have been around the block a little bit with, with the fitness journey. And I'd worked in many other gyms and worked as a wellness center director and, and had a lot of other experiences before I started my own company. And while I did take the step to get the name of the business trademarked and I had a logo created and all that good stuff and wanted the business to be more than just me at some point. I didn't really have that for the first at least uh, going into the 2015 year. So I'm trying to figure out the math here looking at the dates and when we started and all that but I would say not until 2015 did it become more than just me. So that was something that took a while to really figure out how I wanted that to happen. But I knew I wanted it to be bigger and to have it be a little bit more serious and to take the time to to do the trademark and all that fun stuff that made it a little bit tricky at times, right? So that was 2013, just getting started. In 2014, at the end of 2014, actually, I hosted my first 12 Days of Fitness Challenge. So I run this challenge pretty much every year. I did have a year I skipped because it was a little bit busy, but what I had the idea to do in 2014 was to challenge people to get moving for, ironically enough, given the name of the podcast, at least 15 minutes from the day of Christmas Day to 12 days after. So trying to get people doing what they might not normally do, which is start committing to getting moving and start building their routine during the holidays versus waiting until January 1st. And had a lot of fun with that challenge. It was really just mostly a blog challenge at the time. So I've noticed over the years that I run that, that people have not had blogs as much. They've been more on Facebook, or at least that's where I've been able to get people. I haven't been super active in blog circles myself, so that could be part of it. But that was uh, a really fun thing that we started. And at the end of that challenge, I did a live workout for people that had made it through the 12 days of fitness challenge and worked out with us and committed to that every single day of that 12 days and offered it as a Google Hangout workout, which I don't even know if I know how to use Google Hangout right now. It's been a while, but I didn't know how well that would work. And I actually didn't have really any expectations at all, but it worked. And that kind of planted the seed for making Fit Armadillo more what it is today, where people are enjoying workouts over live to a video chat The reason why I was so excited about that was that I had a mom join us who had her son working out with us and I think he was around five, maybe even younger at the time and it just, I thought that was so cool after growing up and spending all these years where I was a pretty well behaved kid, at least according to my recollection of things and I would have been okay in the gym, I I thought, but I wasn't allowed to be able to work out with my parents until after I was 13, I think in most gyms and seeing that if I offered workouts like this over the video chat, kids could actually potentially, if 
if their parents wanted them to, enjoy the workout and be a part of those healthy habits that their parents were trying to model for them. So that was just a, a little bit of a light bulb moment. And then in 2015, my niece was born. And so I started doing sessions with some of my clients who ended up moving away from my home base of Houston in 2014 or sorry 2015 early 2015 after that blog experience because that blog challenge ended in early 2015 so I did do that a little bit but it wasn't until my niece was born in April of 2015 and I started working with my sister over the two-way video chat and seeing how that could help her where we were able to book last minute sessions help her get back in shape while having a newborn baby I really was drawn to this idea of helping other moms do that as well and so at the end of 2015 I started taking on some of my building my team and those of my team members who have been with me since then (laughs) know that we have had a lot of technology changes and challenges throughout that time products that I use that were supposed to work and be able to accommodate clients and trainers in multiple time zones that didn't so lots of fun growing pains then but grateful for them as well for being part of this journey and then in 2016 more the team started a little bit more and that's also uh, between 2015 and 2016 is when I actually started working on things that ended up becoming my book and then at the end of 2016 is when my book was published as an ebook and then early 2017 the book came out as a hardback edition and that took me through a lot of 2017, which is when I had just moved out to California, which is where Fit Armadillo is now based. And then from there, doing a lot of book touring. And then now in 2018, the big new thing was having the podcast launch. So that's been really exciting. And coming this August, I have a women's fitness and business focus retreat out in Redondo Beach in California. So that's kind of the the summary of of things that have kind of the key milestones in different years looking back on my notebooks and things that have happened so it's definitely been a journey so if you are listening because I know I have a lot of entrepreneurial friends if you're listening and you are getting stuck somewhere on your journey first of all I, I encourage keeping a journal and remembering to put the year date on your journal because I have a journal that I've been carrying around through these five years pretty much and it doesn't have all the the dates I started it when I had someone uh, say yes to an interview that I actually that actually ended up never happening but it was a big moment for me in my business or that's what I thought and that's when I started the journal which is kind of funny looking back but then going back through I noticed I had to really dig back a few pages when I wasn't seeing the the year so definitely put the year but I encourage you to have that because I you can actually see a lot of your journey and and go back on things so that's um, something that's pretty fun so that is my my quick brief recap I hope that was interesting to those of you listening and you know for those of you who are just joining us for the fitness journey aspect I encourage you to think about how the things that you're doing in your fitness journey can support you in other goals and dreams you might have maybe building a business that you might not have actually thought of taking action on just yet and maybe gaining a little inspiration and insights into how things can change and progress And the biggest thing I would say, the biggest lesson I've learned is just being consistent and to keep putting yourself out there. And you don't necessarily have to quit your job and start your business journey. If there's something that you have in you that you want to put out there in the world, you can work on it a little bit and see results. It's not the path that I took, but I definitely would think going back that that would be something that I could have considered just because there kind of is that slow pace of just trying to get the word out there and have things grow that way when you don't have a huge marketing budget because let me tell you my marketing budget is pretty much pretty much zero to a little bit when I when I take that that effort so keeping it real here on the podcast today so I really and truthfully planned on keeping this show to 15 minutes I don't know how I was going to do that trying to do a little recap of some of the highlights from the last five years but I did want those of you who have been part of the journey to kind of reminisce and and those of you who haven't or maybe just know me as an entrepreneur kind of see the progression and it's definitely been a journey things have not happened overnight right so I hope that was informative to you inspiring to you in some way even though I kept it as short as possible but definitely had to skip over some things and would love to have you enjoy workouts with us this week so head to the show notes page for the link to those classes 
wanted to put this on for some fun, but also to have you get to experience what we do here at Fit Armadillo because the biggest thing I hear when I have a new client or just meet someone that's learning about my business is they don't understand how it could work. But then when I do have people who experience the sessions for themselves, they always really enjoy being a part of it and find it useful maybe not all the time, maybe sometimes there is a place, right, for some of my clients do want to get out and enjoy a class in person, but definitely for those days when life happens and you still want to get in a great workout and be held accountable, we are a great option once you see the and experience it. So that's what this week is all about. I will also going forward, looking at things coming up, I am going to map out a race course. For those of you who listen to the podcast and heard the founders of the Live K running app on, we I just got myself set up as an admin officially, so I'm going to go out and map out the running route here in Hermosa Beach that you can join hopefully as soon as this week once I get it up there and mapped out, but then definitely by June 20th where I'll be hosting another fun run off the pier where you can get your sparkly finishers medal so you can maybe practice a little bit before then and then come out and see if you can beat your best time even that will be really fun so that's something coming up also in june i will be doing some consultations so i always am available at least in theory but i to do a consultation for you i've been in the industry for over a decade and happy to help you figure out how many sessions you should do a week, what types of sessions you should do. But I will actually have my calendar open, which I don't always do lately because I have my own clients and podcast show guests now to to schedule and work into my calendar. But I will be opening my calendar for that. So if you want to schedule a free consultation, that will be happening in June. In July, nothing officially planned yet, but I'm sure there'll be something, so stay tuned. And then at the end of August, I have my fitness retreat, which is a women's only retreat happening in Redondo Beach, California. We'll be focusing on working on bettering ourselves in terms of our fitness goals and getting into a good fitness routine and also working on our businesses and getting some tasks off our to-do list and being more strategic as we head into fall with our businesses as well as with our health. So if you are a female entrepreneur and you'd like to escape to Redondo Beach, California at the end of August, definitely go and check the show notes out for the link to that. The early bird signups for that will end on June 15th or as soon as someone books the king bedroom. So this retreat has space for six overnight guests and there are accommodations that vary based on your budget or or your level of privacy that you want so the the most amazing spot in the house is the awesome king bedroom that has a private entrance a jacuzzi tub super luxurious and then there are also options for friends who might want to room together so we have a twin bedroom option with a shared bath so that's something as well that would be very cost effective especially under the early bird and not as luxurious with that extra bath but Maybe you want to splurge on something else when you come to town. So that's something that's going on end of August. And basically it's going to be bringing the principles of my book and a lot of what I've learned and and kind of focus on over the the past few years to life. So helping women use fitness as a way to fuel and enjoy more success in their businesses. So that's basically what we'll be doing. There'll be plenty of time to relax, rejuvenate, and get things done so you should return home not feeling stressed out but feeling like you have a good plan in place and that you got some things done but you also were able to relax and then in September we will be running another round of the small group fitness challenge I run the drop two sizes challenge so I'm still have that wait list up there always put it up as soon as we close out one challenge and head into the next so definitely stay tuned for that and in between always offering those awesome private sessions the bread and butter of Fit Armadillo and helping you enjoy fitness at your place and your pace. So take this opportunity during the five-year celebration to get to know us better, to meet the instructors, to enjoy workouts. Even though these will be small group workouts, which is not what we normally do, you'll get to get a taste for the instructors and and at least, if nothing else, get to mix up your current routine a little bit. And then with the consultations that will be on the calendar, you can talk to me about your goals in a non-pressure environment and just see how Fit Armadillo may or may not be a good fit for you. And then if you have some technology struggles that you want to check out and just see if the technology will work for your current equipment, 
that's something that we often get asked. I can test that out for you for free, right? So you're not wasting a session trying to figure that out. So that's what we have going on. I'm super excited to be celebrating five years at Fit Armadillo and to be enjoying the podcast with you. Thanks for hanging out with me for these 25 minutes. I hope I didn't ramble too much. I hope it was useful and I hope to have the honor of continuing to support you in your fitness journey, whether it's through the podcast show, through picking up a copy of my book, through enjoying some of the fitness classes this week as we celebrate five years of being in business at Fit Armadillo, starting your private session journey with some of our amazing and talented instructors, or maybe even joining me for my fitness retreat this August. Thanks so much for being a part of the podcast today. Please continue to share your feedback. And if you're a subscriber of the podcast, get excited because tomorrow I'm going to be joined by an awesome guest. So we'll be back to our regular programming. Thanks again for all of your support today and these past five years for those of you who have been with me for the journey. I hope to party with you through one of the workouts soon. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Fit 15. For show notes and more, visit fitarmadello.com slash podcast. See you next time.